really like smoky flavoured things. Smoky bacon crisps. Oh, huge fan of them. Oh, they're the best. It just, it's like, and then you burp afterwards and you're like, blah. Yeah, then it comes back and you can enjoy it again. So Sorry, what are we talking about? Repeated, are these like filtered through a lump of bog? I think of peat, I think of like bog bodies. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't eat those, not yeah. legally. They do not look nice to eat. No, no. I wouldn't want to. Bog bodies, like the souls <laughs> of people. This is Ga Gabriel. She uh, died in the bog in 1852. She played the tin whistle. We took her out and she looked gross, but we blended her up and she tastes flipping great. I like a peat yeah. fire. I yeah. love a peat fire now. Sitting yeah. in an old pub, getting toasty. This is exactly what you'll feel like when you're tasting these. It'll, it'll transport you. Debatable. Irish vodka. Yeah, because they're trying to do ohm and yeah, a Yeah, I was trying to, what is it? Kalak? Kalak. I can't read that. Oh, I can. Kalak. Yes. Can I just say in advance, sorry to my girlfriend for the phone calls I'll be giving you later on. Oh. If they're going to be sexy and intense. I don't think I've ever had an Irish vodka. Ooh. Well, <laughs> that doesn't smell like vodka. Peat cask single malt vodka. Oh my God. It has Ireland. 40%. 40%. It is Ireland, her weather, and her people's ancient craft in a bottle. Oh, that got very nationalistic there, didn't <laughs> it? Really it really did. It's Ireland. It's Ireland. Ooh, it does smell kind of peaty. Yeah. <laughs> have, another, have another one there. I think, I think the third time you'll you'll definitely enjoy it. Okay, let's try. Oh fuck. Oh. Oh, you're you're doing the shot. Oh. No, don't don't shoot if you don't want to. Never feel any pressure for me. Why did that caught me off guard? Oh. Oh, that's a nice vodka. Oh, that sticks around. Oh. There's a real earthy flavor to it. Oh my god, that is. Lovely, but Jesus, it, it lingers. You know what? I actually get the the peaty. Ugh. It's like a sod fire. Like it is. It has that fiery. But dear God, I hate vodka so much. And if you like a whiskey, this might be the vodka for you. It's. I'm very warm right now already. Oh. Not in a burning way, but just like I feel like my body temperature has been raised. I as feel a like the spirits of Ireland are coming up through me. We've tried vodka together before. Yes. And most of oh, them. We've tried many of vodka. Many of vodka. <laughs> Twenty-four vodkas in one go. This actually tastes really nice. Ooh, that, it's warmed my cockles. No, there's something floating in it as well. Oh, is that oh, a worm? Oh no, look, there's oh, fuck, a it really is, isn't it? lump of shite floating in it. It's a bit of peat, that's probably what it is. It's from the bog. It's probably peat. just a bit of soda turf. So do you want to explain what peat is? Peat is, uh, so parts of Ireland have the bog. Usually people use it for, for starting fires and things like that. You would cut it and you would use it to set fires in your, in your it's, home. It's basically dead organic matter and sometimes people fall in it and don't get found for hundreds of years. So that's great that we're drinking this. <laughs> this is delightful. Mm. I'm scared though, because like after one sip, I feel like, whoa! Yeah, it's, it's vodka. It well, is well, what it is. Well, I wouldn't well, be mixing with orange juice and having it before going to the da, da club. It's a rum. Oh, she stickin' fancy. Oh, it's plantation rum. Oh, here we go. Now, if this said, Plant Nation. Oh, I'm on board. Great, we should all go vegan. A mom and pop shop. <laughs> Rum infused with Victorian pineapple. Aged in peated single malt casks. I really don't like pineapple on its own. I like it mixed in with things. I could not eat a piece of it if you paid me. This is great because the bottle gives you a whole newspaper to read. So it you, really does. You just be there going, oh, let's see what's going down in, at, in, the, uh, in the Commonwealth. It feels almost like kids in the classroom made this as a project. What would an old bottle look like? Chin chin, chin chin, chin. cheers. Oh, the pineapple is divine. That's the stuff. Oh. That's very nice. That's really nice. I'm not sure about that fruity flavor now, to be honest with you. It's, I'm not sure it's about very it. very syrupy. Good stuff there. And now the smokiness comes. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Ooh. That's boom, that hits you. Yeah, it's very sweet. It's got a very sweet flavor to it. Mm. Feels healthy. I'm getting the smoke, I'm getting the fruity flavor, and I like the fruity flavor. Fruity, fruity flavor is working for me. A bit of sweetness and a bit of raw goodness. Exactly. It's, like like a, it's like a grilled pineapple, just like a pineapple a on a barbecue burnt. or something. You yeah. burnt it a bit too you much. Char it. Uh, 40%, so it's not messing around. Not messing around at all. I really want to go to a pub. I want to go to a pub and sit down by a fire and uh, have an old chat session going on in the corner and uh, just sip on this for, for like a good, a good three hours. It's nice. I feel like I'm going on a little holiday by having the drink. That, it's like drinking a barbecue. That is a summery drink. The yeah. pineapple is just overwhelming. I think you're focusing on the pineapple more. Mm. Got a thumbnail. So smooth. Very nice. Very smooth. Very nice. Much much easier to drink than the vodka. Oh, really? Really so smooth. It's a nice little twist on like already established things. And also it's called Stiggins Fancy. Mm -hmm. It has fancy in the title, so you know yes. it's gonna be great. I'm probably gonna like all of these, but yeah. um, I'm excited nice. for the whiskey. I think the whiskey will be, oh God. Repeating? Yeah. What do we got? 
was gin. Gin, it is gin. Oh. Ah, here, I. Lockery. Lovely. Our aim is true. From Lockery Distillery, County Longford. Their aim is true. Inspired by Lockery legend, Slingshot Gin marries classic botanicals with citrus, fresh mint, and local peat in a modern twist, creating a bold and fresh contemporary gin. Ooh, it feels like they really want me to drink this quickly. <laughs> really? Yes. Gin has uh, one of two effects on people. Either yeah. it makes you very, very happy or it makes you very, very depressed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's from go. County Longford, the most depressed country. Exactly. County in Ireland. They need to drink. They need it. Oh, let's smell first. Oh, so oh, fresh. That smells like a creek or something, doesn't it? It smells like a fragrance you put into a room. Oh, that, the initial taste. Ooh. There is something almost like Ooh. earthy about it. Ooh. Ooh. Very Ooh. lemony. Yeah, very lemony. Very citrusy. I'm enjoying it. What was it? Oh. Oh, just, just like, I, I was... Oh. Oh. That was the Holy Ghost coming out of you, wasn't sure. it? I think they use mint, so like you can kind of yeah, have a little bit of that. it's very minty. But then like on the palate, it's, like, it's almost like the a... back of my throat was not happy. We're doing a shot now. Oh, it's like my morning Baraka. Oh, it is. The peat is there almost like to maybe like balance out the citrus. Yeah, it's very, it's a lot. Yeah. Sometimes stuff will burn the back of your throat. This kind of goes over your mouth and when you swallow, it goes down so easy. I feel like my teeth are cleaner. <laughs> Whoa, that aftertaste really fucking knocks the tits off. I'm not isn't getting it? much of an aftertaste to be honest. I've never tasted anything like it. It's very unusual. It's peatedness, smokiness. Not a lot of smokiness to it, I have to say. No, very, I wouldn't Very say clear it. botanicals. It's really, sh it's like quite sharp and sour. See, I'm finding, I'm finding that just on the regular taste. And I'm not, nothing staying around. Like. The vodka is the one that I want to like, be like, oh mates, lads, have you had, have you had this? It's great. The rum, I'm like, oh, I can, I can recommend it to you. This one, I'm like, oh, I don't know who this is for. Uh, gin perfect for your aunt who loves yoga, who often uh, gets up in the morning and presents her whole body to the sun. Does the downward dog in front of the window and then sends him and goes, was anyone looking? <laughs> was anyone looking? Well, I wouldn't say smoky at all now, to be honest. Oh, fuck dicks. Oh. <laughs> fuck dicks, in every sense of the word. Yeah, that's your preference. I'm a little chowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's our boys, our tealings. Mwah. Teeling whiskey, black pits. Black pits, eh? Peated single malt Irish whiskey. Oh, it's teeling? Yeah, oh. it's teeling. Bring it on, yes. Love me some teeling. Interesting name. Black pits, it's named after the area of the Liber Liberties, where the teeling distillery is. And oh. It used to be like a tanning, a high tanning area. Have you been to the teeling whiskey distillery? No, I haven't. It's a nice tour. It's a nice tour, it's a good tour. Yeah, remember how earlier I was saying I wish I was in a pub right now? Uh, forget that noise for that for that one. This, 100% old man's pub, fireplace. A fella over in the corner with like a fiddle or something. Yeah. Oh. Fiddle and the lotto numbers. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's have a little sip. Wow. That is here to hurt us. Yeah. It's Why not, did you do this? It was, <laughs> that's smooth. gorgeous. Very easy. Very smooth. Gorgeous. Very easy. It's Lads, have, spectacular. have a seat because we're going to stay here a while, I think. Oh, that's wonderful. Just feel it up here in my sinuses. Yes. yes. Do you know, like it's yeah, always yeah, up yeah. here. It has that like sweetness. It's like you get the smokiness. It's so sweet. Mm. Oh, it climbs up atop a, atop a mountain and pisses down on them from a great height. I would say all of the drinks we've had so far, mm. you could have by itself and it's fine. It's yeah. good, it's, nice. it's, it's preferable. I think this one needs to be mixed with something. It is lovely, it is yeah. very tasty. It doesn't taste like sweaty black pits. It's a very lovely whiskey. Uh, would recommend to your friends. It's really sticky and treacly like, it's great. I've, I've had that review before. Look at me sipping alcohol. <laughs> It looks very similar to you knocking back alcohol, to be honest. I feel like all the pulleys in my face get like reefed back. It's quite like clockwork orangey. If you want to have a single malt whiskey, this is good. This is your boy right here. But in this particular video, it's, been lit down. it's a bit, it's a bit pedestrian. Sometimes I text it and say, and it doesn't get back to me for two or three days. And I'm like, then just get over it. And just like, tell me what's going on here. What, what are we? What are we? What are we? Everything was great. I am very smoky right now. Smoke coming out of my ears. I feel like I've smoked some cigarettes. Yeah, out I've my never nose. done that before. The Teeling's whiskey was. It was just Mwah. nostalgic. Just Jesus, it was. It was a hug of a drink. Yeah, it a was. A lovely little hug of a drink, so it was. I think as a country, we should just decide to start sticking more things into the peat bogs, and then just wait a hundred years and see what happens. We might be surprised. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious. Oh, this is poison. Oh, I didn't like that guy in the first place. <laughs> Why did you? Why don't you, why don't you like and subscribe? Oh. Maybe buy some merch to keep you nice and toasty. Wow. And then every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, a little video will come to you. And just give you a little bit of a nice warm hug and say, hey, everything's going to be okay.